I feel like I'm doing a man or mouse video doing this. Do you know the way you were raving on that you wanted to do the drift experience for your birthday? Yeah. So I got onto Mandela and they said they'd do it for 80 or each. I'm only messing. They said they'd do a better thing for you, right? So they said the ultimate track experience. They gave us two of them for free. No way. Yeah. Fuck off. So, no, I swear to God, we're going to do the ultimate experience, like. Huh? You have to be more excited. I'm really you. excited. Yeah! <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Mandela. Big yeah. keys. Okay. Thanks, Chris, Thanks for Chris. reaching out to the boys. Oh, the like. camera's off, I'll hug them. Yeah, yeah. Gifted, oh. like. Oh, I get, I get teas and coffee and homemade cookies. Yeah, homemade cookies are oh. my favourite as well. Oh, man, I get everything here. Oh, I get to drift games, Drill. Happy. Man, I get to drive a Ferrari. Yeah, it's all the. I, I get to drive a Ferrari. You get to We get to drive Ferraris, yeah. man. Yeah, together. Man, this is pure cool. And big shout out to Mandelo. Yeah, it's sick enough. Thank you very much. How are you Morning. feeling? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, Canada. even though you fucking slipped in. Time has come for you to finally open that light. Sat inside the kitchen for a month and yeah. I'm just looking at it. It looks good though. Actually, okay. it proper is. Mm. It's black. Yeah, we should get to the next exit in the man. So to give you, I think it just gives you the detailed description on the brochure of what's actually going on today. And then, oh, oh guess. Guess. Uh, there is loads happening today though. We actually don't, like, I don't know. Have you thoroughly read through it, like, going man, on? I've been watching everything about it. Yeah, so what's actually happening today, so? Uh, we get to drive Porsches, BMWs, Ferraris, drifting, F1 cars, rallycross, mm -hmm. lunch. Good we also try. get teas and cookies. The cookies is the one I'm looking forward to. Can't wait for that one, part. There's, like, a collection of loads of old cars from the guy that originally owned Mondello. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Man, that'd be really cool. Can't yeah. wait, man. I've had that admin calendar going for the last 30 days countdown today. Not yeah. Christmas today. You are so smart, spy. Thanks, man. That's why they call me Big Baby. We're definitely going to be crawling around them bins, man. Crawling, man. I'm turning sideways around them, man. Yeah. Sideways in the Ferrari. I'd have had to switch to the fucking jumpsuit because... Big Baby, you know. Yes. How are you feeling, Adam? Like a canteen lady. Trip off from Kerry. I don't know the Michael Schumacher just fucking walking over here. What the fuck am I gonna get over there? Man, this gear thing is mad. Here, give me the camera. Then. This fucking gear stick is down here. Oh man, it's the maddest thing ever. Don't get that shit in Tom Murphy's car. Start it here. Good old button. It's like a lawnmower. Series going on. <laughs> the big difference here is, first of all, is these guys have no ABS, no traction control, so no driver aids whatsoever. So, so if you, if, you, if you get in the power real aggressively, because it's damp and the bars are wheel drive, you'll notice that the car will get a bit twitchy. So, come in the corners, the Mazda, you can just be like that on the power, whereas this should be nice and progressive onto it. Likewise, if you're coming into a corner, you absolutely stand on the brakes, it's going to lock up on you. So just play with that for the first few laps. So basically your gears are down here. It's a normal H pattern gearbox you find in any normal road car of first, second, third, fourth and fifth over to the top row. So it's the usual layout you see in any normal car. We never use first gear even when we're taking off we use second. So the gears for the track are as follows. First corner up here, the fast right hander, that's going to be fourth gear. You'll get up to fifth gear on the straight, back down to fourth for the double right hander, then the back end of the circuit, fourth for all this section, and then the tight corner here is third. So to summarize that, it's really just fourth is, is your gear that you're going to be using for all the corners, fifth on the straight, and then third for the tight one. Man, I can't move. I am strapped in here. There's health and safety, man, and then there's this. Like, I am not moving an inch. Don't make a tissue yourself here. There was one stage I went nearly in, you know, and I was like, nah, it's not happening. I'm not getting fucking carried out like. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's a good laugh. Fairness, like, it's short lived, though, you know, it's like go karting and stuff like that. It's just like, when you're there, you're like, oh, it's great crack, and it's just done. How many laps do you reckon we've done? I think it was 10, I think. 10, yeah, it doesn't feel like it when you're driving it, like. So it's still stuck here. 
the, the, the leg is caught on there. I don't really know how to get it out. It's probably very straightforward as well. That's more annoying thing about it. Adam's taking his fucking sweet time as well. Anything to say to sort of like wise words or anything uh, before we go off? Well, if Nathan's teaching, you don't fucking listen to him. Nathan's fucking shit. Oh, here he is, huh? Oh, I'm taking into our fucking drifting time, no man. Sorry, Eat. sorry. Yeah, you on the far side? Is yeah, it? just the opposite side of the grandstand, just stay there. Oh, you did. Adam was a great passenger princess there anyway, just in case people thought that was actually Adam driving. Adam driver driving. Classic. Yeah, well, fuck that corn anyway. Cool corn, like. I think this goes at hard, though. It's cool, it's fun, though. It's a lot different than the MX-5. A lot different. It's like you're actually in second gear, so, like, you're obviously going a bit faster. And, like, you're sliding a lot more than you would be inside that one. That, like, it's making me realise that's a great thing. Being like a slide. That was the first time different. Yeah, they're fun. Like, oh, it's grand, and the next time it hits, going like that. The whole camera just shakes. Like. Would you do it again? I would, yeah. yeah. I'd like to do it myself, though. Excuse I'm left handed as well. It is fun, yeah. Stupid like a show. <laughs> Just a stupid take to show into the middle of it. Is anyone a number for AXA? Red flag, red flag. Good old Betsy. Coffee kicked the tire three times, tires are decent. Very tough though, I'd say. What's in your shit? <laughs> There's a quiz, man. Oh. Do you hear him? There's a quiz. A quiz? Two teams of three. And there are eight of us here, like. Three. <laughs> yeah. Quick maths. You don't get involved in the quiz because you did not. No. <laughs> you here. It's a Peugeot, man. What are you on about? Good luck, boy. Works, isn't it? Yeah. Take a nice or slow just so as we're leaving pit lane. We've got two two markers, we've got a brake bar, and then we've got calls laid out for our turn points. 
So essentially, whatever side of the track we see that those markings are on, we want to position the car along the side. So if the marking is on the left, it means we're positioning the car on the left, but also means we're getting ready to turn to the right. Okay. If the markings are on the right hand side of the track, we're positioning on the right to get ready to turn to the left. It's a good way of sort of memorizing the track. Okay. You can see the marking before you see the corner. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every car we have has a brake pedal. Just casual Sunday drive, Wednesday drive, you know, yourself. So fun. That's actually a lot more nice for the handle than either the Porsche or the Beamer. Really? It's more like an actual race car as you're going around. What's the power like in it? Oh, it's kicky, man. It's, like, it's manual as well. We're using flat paddles. I've never used in my life before. I thought you'd have a clutch or I thought you'd have to come off the accelerator too. So it means like every time I was changing gear, man, it's going. If I was to drive anything for a full day, it'd be the Ferrari because I felt it felt way nicer to steer. It'd be the Porsche, man. And if I was to own any of them, it'd be the Beamer. Oh. He's talking shit, that fucking thing man. The fucking handling man. It's like 20 handling. That was a fucking midnight club tree man, 20 handling. <laughs> That's not to be seen in the video anyway. But, my crack. Right, so the day is done. Did you have fun? Not too bad. Jeez, imagine forgetting my car. Fuck's sake. Oh yeah. It was a, a very good day, in fairness. Fuck it, it goes fast though, that's the only thing. They were saying if you do, let's say one of these things, that you can get extra time, and if you buy an XL version, you can buy an XL version as well. But, uh, oh, he's over here now. <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa! As I was saying, there's that XL thing as well. But we, what we were doing is obviously the ultimate drive experience. So we just, I think what it is is kind of just a taste of everything. And then like you could come back and do the full experience of one thing. But yeah, fucking ideal for Christmas. Great Christmas. Savage Christmas. In fairness, like our birthday present. Our birthday presents, you know? Look. Hopefully you're watching this and yeah, the gate's closed. Thank you to Mandela for having us. Yeah, Benjamin. thanks specifically to Dan Brian Horn as well. Absolutely. Uh, for giving Please gifting us this in fairness. So yeah, definitely would recommend. And we will see you later. So no one else you want to thank? Huh? No one else you want to thank, no? Oh, thanks, Fog. <laughs> this guy. Sorry. I Thanks, Fog. Thanks for coming, Fog. We really appreciate it. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. There's one thing I forgot that we've been promising, and the most excited that we were about tea and homemade cookies. We didn't get that. Sorry, cons. That's one of the cons that I didn't. We really to. appreciate the fact we're here, man. But yeah. Homemade cookies. Yeah, I was. I was looking forward to some mother giving me cookies today, like fresh, warm milk. So that's that's the one con of today. Obviously, there is like if you do the ultimate experience, like one of our kind of things would be like we do wish it was longer. But obviously, it's so fucking much happening that like it can't be that long. So. Next exit experience of hitting limiter is coming soon as well. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. For that. let's get to sit in the car and go. Yeah, learn how to key back. Oh yeah. Anyway, we'll see you later.